I'm here this morning with Continental Coal Limited Finance Director Jason Brewer to get the latest news on the company's key South African assets and also on some recent corporate transactions. Good morning Jason. Firstly, how are Continental Coal's South African assets performing currently? Continental Coal currently operates three thermal coal mines in, in South Africa and it's been very pleasing over the past financial year that we've uh, managed to generate increased production uh, across each of the three mines. Uh, the mines themselves, the Black Blackfontein mine, is a domestic mine supplying the local power utility and that's operating at about 20% above our budgeted target uh, levels at the moment. The, uh, the Ferreira coal mine is again operating above budgeted levels and we've recently commenced uh, production from our third mine, the Penumbra coal mine, an underground mine, first production in, in mid-November and in its first full quarter of production it generated positive cash flow from operation and we'll be ramping up to full production over the course of uh, the rest of this financial year. And looking into the future a little, what are Continental's coal production forecasts for fiscal year 2013 and 2014? For 2013 we should be achieving uh, an increased level of, of run of mine coal production. Uh, to date we've, we've almost uh, achieved what we achieved last year, so we've got a full quarter to add on to that. So we should be generating uh, run of mine production levels of about 2.2 million tonnes, uh, which is you know, continued growth uh, being demonstrated by our team on the ground there. In terms of sales, export sales, slightly below where we were last year, but, but close to uh, 550 to 600,000 tonnes of export sales. Domestic sales from our Black Blackfontein mine, predominantly going through to, to ESCOM, will be about 1.2 million tonnes. So that's very pleasing for the group to demonstrate further growth in, in both production and sales of, of thermal coal. It's, it's pleasing as well for 2013 that um, all three of our operations are generating positive cash flow from operations. Uh, the domestic mine has a very robust earnings profile. The export mines have clearly been impacted by uh, the fall in the export coal price over the past year, but uh, both, both those mines now are producing uh, very well and generating earnings for the group. 2014 is going to be a very interesting year, year for us. We have a, a fourth mine development which we're proposing to commence uh, very early on in, in that, that year. It's the DeWitterkrans project which has the, uh, the potential to add between two to three million tonnes per annum of, uh, of production and about one and a half to two million tonnes of sales. Uh, we're currently negotiating uh, both offtake and a partnership arrangement on that asset. So that, that operation will commence production in the 2014 financial year and it really does depend how aggressively, how aggressively we push that uh, with the joint venture partner which we're working yeah. with at the moment. And moving on to corporate activity, what are the benefits of the recent Village Main Reef strategic transaction for Continental Coal? Village Main Reef are a Johannesburg Stock Exchange listed company that are pursuing a more diversified uh, investment program at the moment across the, the resources space. Uh, we, we secured a placement with Village Main Reef of uh, $8 million, which was priced at a reasonable premium to what we're trading at at the moment. Um, in addition to that, we entered into an agreement where they would buy out the, uh, the minority shareholdings. That really has allowed us to tighten up our capital structure. Uh, that effectively removed 3,500 uh, shareholders and we replaced it with them. So they've emerged as a 16.5% shareholder in the business. They're a very long-term and strategic partner to have. Uh, the management team there uh, very much focused on cash generating assets and um, have a very good track record across the South African and uh, North American mining community. So a good partner to have, a very strategic one, I certainly believe, and one which will certainly assist us as we look to develop further uh, our activities in South Africa. So, and further on that, how does the transaction fit in with the recent corporate activities of the company and with partnerships already established? Look, the transaction is entirely consistent with the strategy which, which Continental's had from from its first investment in, in the South African coal space back in 2009. Uh, we've always sought to attract you know, credible counterparties both as uh, a joint venture partner or as a financier. Uh, our first transaction in, in 2010 was with the French power utility EDF uh, with their trading company which invested in our first coal mining operation. Uh, in addition to that we've done uh, joint ventures with the Korean um, natural resources company Corez. We've attracted the likes of, of Barclays Capital as a, as a major financier. Um, we always seek to, to work with parties that, that complete a very thorough due diligence uh, process prior to any investment and it's pleasing 
that each and every time we've, we've gone to a strategic party, such as Village Main Reef, you know, they've completed their due diligence and have subsequently invested in the company. And from my point of view, certainly validating the, the business strategy we have and, and giving a clear indication of the sort of value which, which they see within the company. We've been talking this morning with Jason Brewer, Finance Director for Continental Coal. Thank you.